All right. <clears throat> Fallout 3. Honestly, one of, in my opinion, one of the best games of all time. Nothing like wandering the wastelands. In search of her father. <laughs> Let's see what you got to sell. Ah, well. You have no fuck. No Tell me what you store. need, and maybe I've got your fix. Thanks. Good old Megaton. Well, I'll be damned. You're from that vault, Vault 101. Name's Lucas. Um, could be nice. Actually. Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Hey there. What the fuck? Okay. You looking to trade, stranger? Check out Crater Side Supply. He is coming with the clouds. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thun- Um... Thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, and children of the earth... I'll be... And all without asking for pay, too. Hell, why don't you move in? Here's the key and the deed to an empty house. Consider yourself a Megaton citizen. Awesome. Oh, and talk with Moira at Craterside Supply. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Hell yeah. All right. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Um, well, hello there. Heh, <laughs> tell me to look. Yes, it's common knowledge that the irradiated cats have 18 half-lives. 18 half-lives. I like it. One more. My humor emitter array requires recharging. Ah, oh, that's dumb. Okay. Nice.
shotgun shells. Nice. So, to be honest, it's four in the morning right now. No longer. It shall be washed away in that so, glow. Burn nothing like again wandering the wastelands at four in the morning. <laughs> Good old time. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna talk to you. What do you need? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers. But if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. I hope. I believe I had 25 repair. Um, just in case. I need 30. But I got it. I beg of you to use me as your vessel. All right. <clears throat> Fix me some pipes to get some easy money. What do you need? Well, in the future, that is. Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. What you'll do. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Sure. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. Um, sure. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the waste, right? 
people could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Well, that's unfortunate. Sure. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, it sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Radiation. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots <laughs> about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can sure. study its effects. <laughs> oh, not a deadly that dose, of totally course. Healthy, totally I can fix safe. you up before that. All right. Oh, you're a peach, or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness, but if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I can tell you're positively glowing. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Mm. So, you're experiencing delusions, too. Fascinating. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. Oh, that's great. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, it's even but better. But I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Very. A little ramen milk, a couple magnets. Maybe magnets? Maybe a few happy... Well, the you're fuck? alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um... Mutation, uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. <laughs> Don't take too long. See ya. Piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Hey, Smoothskin, do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Wait, you're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Yeah, man. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. Just because you have but for you, no skin I'll doesn't risk mean it. anything. <laughs> or what's left of skin, that is. I just don't even know Come back I soon. Their signal's been shit all. lately. <clears throat> and honestly, I'm not gonna read all this.
Welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. Curious. I'm curious if I can still do this even though I don't have the quest. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? <coughs> Did Moriarty send you? Damn. Um. That lying bastard. Roped you into finding me too, huh? Well, you're not getting a damn thing from me. You hear me? Not a damn thing. That's not how I expected it to go. Still considered stealing, even though she's dead. What the fuck? I don't want that. Thank you for the scrap metal. I actually need that. you do. What else you got? It's like you're gonna need it. Yeah, what I sh Well, all right.
you know. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? I didn't even mean to fucking. Well, Skip food dialogue. and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Right. <clears throat> oh, great! Food is most important. But see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? I will try. See ya. This is closer, I think. Off we go on an adventure. over here whatever is here it's mine yeah like this ammo that's mine those raiders strapped me with explosives you've got to help me what Sneak up on a dude who's just scavenging the wastelands like normal, like everybody else, and just run up on somebody and say that you got explosives strapped to you and ask for help. Bro. Is she gonna blow up? Is he gonna blow up? Hmm. Okay, guess not. 
Maybe he didn't have any explosives on him after all. Who knows? Unless he decides to just blow the fuck up here in the next couple of seconds. Is he still over there? What the hell? Did he fucking just despawn? That is so weird. I've never had that happen to me before. Out of all the years that I've actually pl played this game, I've never had that encounter before. Oh no, he's still there. Good, my guy? What are you doing? Should I put him down? I don't know what to do here. And that's why they make a quick save. 